Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Stockton police releasing these new images of an SUV connected to last month's murder of a father. A shooting happened on October 28th near North American Street and East Weber Avenue. An Oakland freeway was blocked off today so family could honor 24-month-old Jasper Wu where he was shot and killed. Family says he was hit in the head by a stray bullet while sleeping in his car seat. New video tonight from the CHP shows burglars on the run in North Sacramento. Police followed them from Norwood Avenue to an elementary school where they crawled onto a roof and eventually were captured. The accused Cloverleaf rapist made his first court appearance today. ABC 10 was in the courtroom, but we were told we could not show his face. The first lawsuits have been filed against artists Travis Scott and Drake following a deadly stampede at a Texas music festival. Eight people were killed and hundreds others were injured. The infamous Virgo House in Solano County is back online, available to rent. It's now listed as a 30-day minimum, so it's not a short-term rental, but the minimum price tag is $26,000. A Rockland teacher facing backlash tonight for this question on a quiz. It reads, quote, a group of complete idiots. Choose the KKK, all of Florida, Fox News, or Texans. The school district says they recognize and share concerns and are conducting a thorough investigation. Roseville continues to demolish its outdoor dining setups constructed during the pandemic. Vernon Street was cleared today. Church Street will be cleared tomorrow. Want to win in business? Sacramento's Black, Hispanic, and Rainbow Chambers of Commerce are coming together tomorrow to help people network with the region's best and brightest. The event is at the Hilton Arden West. And a big success for SpaceX tonight. Four astronauts just returned to Earth after a 200-day space station mission. They parachuted into the Gulf of Mexico near Pensacola, Florida. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.